Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and Factorio. So in the last episode we started our circuit factory here. Um, producing quite a lot of copper, not quite as much iron. And that's kind of the thing we will deal with today. So I want to at least make green and red circuits up here. I don't know if I want to make blue. Uh, let's see what the blue actually requires. They only require green, red and sulfuric acid. But sulfuric acid requires iron and water I guess. And sulfur, but sulfur is only like petroleum gas. So if you bring oil up here, or oh well we have oil here as well, I don't know how much this is though. And water. And coal. We might be able to do like everything. Which is pretty cool. And um, central. We can wait for a circuit condition something we can ride you back because we need to fill our inventory with a lot of stuff I should kind of rename this circuit drop Okay, so wait for me, pretty please. Let's run on the path. So, yeah. There are a couple of things we will need to do here. I'm going to bring even more RoboPorch. One day I will bother with placing them, so here our red belts come, that's pretty good news. Might want more than 300 though, because they are actually being used up pretty fast. I don't think I have any yellow inserter production. But that's alright, I don't really want them either. Some mining drills and maybe most importantly furnaces. These guys don't have enough red circuits. Okay, we got eight more here. Yeah, it's definitely the red circuits that are not enough. These guys have enough though, so... I mean, you could just use them. Chest. That should help the production a little bit. That guy kind of requires more steel though, I think. This is major malfunction. One thing with building all these furnaces is the fact that it will kind of um, be a problem because it will require more power. Uh, let's take a look up here. Hmm. 
Are we expanding closer or what's up with this? Going to secure that side with a robot port or two. I should also spend some time looking at stuff because I, I rarely visit this side of the factory and I should also make a radar station and come on stop getting stuck in stuff mm, yeah I was supposed to do something smart here yeah I was supposed to look at this Why is it there is always one freaking square away from placing it in a pretty good spot? Guess it's mostly because they are pretty big. Huh? At least now they are in repair range. So that is something. One other thing I might do is to start <laughs> well, I, or not something I will do, but something I should do to start every episode after I have done things like this. Putting down the radar stations and stuff. If I say I'm just going to make circuit production, that's something I should only do as well. Should be running around placing a robo porch. And things like that. Look at this. We got some ninety four in this. But there are way too many. I don't like the fact that the inner belt is standing completely still. I would say that is not great. And two of these are standing still as well. Put I think. Kind of my idea that maybe that will help. Maybe not.
That's not a great thing when these guys are just standing still all the freaking time. Yeah, like I said, I'm not supposed to be looking at this stuff when uh, there is uh, things to build. I go and get some more furnaces though. And 17, yeah, that's not enough actually. Much faster with a car than uh, running like this. I want to get the car. It's not as fast as the train, but I mean, more practical in other ways. And I missed my <laughs> furnace <laughs> at five. Well, okay. All right, let's just get going. Any power at all? Really? Nothing? Well, that was anticlimactic. machine gun I don't know if this is a good way hmm. I don't really want to drive on the, on the tracks but all right we can always take a look at the map and see if something is approaching but Pretty filled up. Why does it feel like I forgot some some things? That is how I feel. Can make a couple of these. It's fine. They're pretty fast to handcraft at least. I like that I have some some red belts on these guys. Are really out of miners? Well, I guess I forgot something again. We just go and grab a lot of stuff and make these freaking uh, electric miners by hand. It was mostly about the furnaces, anyways, so. Hey, what the movies? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, the green or the yellow ones. This makes me a bit mm, tem tempered. It makes me um, 
think about producing some um, Mark II of these Roboport, personal Roboport. I research that by any chance. I have. That's quite pricey though. Quite pricey. Missing furnaces. I don't know if that's that big of a deal. I have a feeling that I should have brought more furnaces to um, copper. So I'm actually going to remove this. This guy should go outside. We need a splitter. This guy should go in there. This should go on the outside. I'm not doing any balancing here at all. something like that we will tell these guys to merge these guys to merge and those guys to merge that should be decent and then we just need to place some of these Always complaining about not having enough stuff. I should make the blueprint with blue inserters instead. Uh, given this more space. I think we need more copper than iron, but. It's... it's fine. But... yeah. I have more red ones maybe. Once. Thank you. Looks a little bit better. I will kind of get my inventory full again, but. To have furnaces. Let's just replace these guys with blue ones. And 
make that our new blueprint. Mm. We could definitely place it further up, so let's just do that. Or construction robots. So much to do. What are they complaining about now? Don't I have enough blue ones instead? Oh well, that's just great. That's just great. And I'm out of furnaces, that's like, well, I guess so, but... I said I'm out of... Doing service. I didn't really think they would be... Um, I don't know, I just have a... Difficult... The difficulty... Measuring that like I, I think that 50 is a lot, but that's because I'm so used to the early game that when you enter the late game You end up with like nothing nothing Okay We will need more miners now anyways, so And faster belts But let's start giving some green circuits down to this place. Mm. Wooden boxes. And there we go. Do you want to load on both sides? Sure. Even if emptying this will not be as quick. Because that's only going to be on one side. Sure. So. Inserters, sure. That. Go up and bring down these green circuits. I don't know where we will produce the red ones. You want to produce them close here or further away? But just in case, let's have our splitter here. Does it feel like I'm a little bit too far to the west here? That wasn't a great, great success to move that one. And tell the train to come and pick this up. Alright. So switch you around, switch you around. This one is going to the wrong direction. That we should get some more green circuits. 
And all is well and good. Let's make some more fast inserters. So maybe we can use. Maybe I didn't make a blueprint out of this. I don't think I did. New blueprint. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's do it like that, but remove these guys. Anything else? Not really. Missing blue inserters. Well, I'm building some, so that might help. Okay. Oh, power. Power is a thing in this game. something set up at least. It's mostly from this buffer chest I guess right now. Production isn't that high. Forty red freaking insert or blue inserters. Well, I'll just try to build them, but yeah, they might be a bit upset here. Let's go up and uh, assist. Wonder how much uranium we have back in the base. Most likely yeah, that's something I'm uh, er, here we go. So Yeah, they want to have more copper. Well, I kind of think that they will want um, maybe even more than one belt, and I need more furnaces again. Yeah, it's not the fastest to build these things. Could bring some 
Well, I actually can just take, pick up these guys. Well, maybe that will make things a bit faster. Need to make inserters. Yeah, that was definitely faster. Something like that. All looking good. Will we be able to catch the train as well? Okay, well, this is stacking 200 <laughs> units. Uh, yeah, well. Let's go there. And this will be inventory empty. I haven't set up a drop station here anyways, so... And that's something we will do. We could actually unload on both sides. It kind of depends if... Let's let's just do it. I'm thinking if I want to have um, something like what do I need for one of these? Steve. It depends if I want to bring blue circuits on this one as well, because then I kind of want to bring free cargo wagons. Which is fine, but then I might have a hard time unloading on both sides. At the same time, if I want to unload on both sides, it should be the green circuits. Anything else might be... A bit too... Few of really require that much. Why is this research so slow? Well, 600 units might be a reason. After the blue ones, the blue ones I'm lacking. They are pretty early tech, so I'm not sure. Yeah, it's these guys. It's the iron. Well, let's go back and look at the iron. These guys are not doing a whole lot. Let's go back and look at the iron mine. Yeah. A lot of used up, I guess. Let's take a look here at the iron drop. Okay, and then it goes back over here. Yeah, it's definitely a bit lacking. Let's take a look at <laughs> Iron Plate production the last hour. Yeah, it's been going down. It was already quite unsteady here. Hmm. 
Now the problem is that the fact that I am not making enough iron impacts my production of miners, which isn't great, because that's kind of what I want to use to increase the production of iron. And sure, I could just handcraft them, but... I guess that's what I have to do right now. Get some electronic circuits. To at least make it a little bit faster. One thing might... I wonder if there is a good way of... Uh... That make like a warning signal to say that well you don't really have enough iron. I guess if I have like some kind of chest here. Maybe that have that pull things off the belt and then on the belt, and if that chest gets empty, it should post a warning or something. I want to fix that. Please. Um, maybe. I'm kind of happy with this setup, even if this is just the embryo to what I want to have up here. So, like, I want to have one wagon with green, one with red, and maybe one with blue. Maybe. But to build red, we will need to make plastic, which require oil. Sure, we have oil here. We also have coal. However, if we use, just use basic oil processing, we don't get as much petroleum from that as if you use water as well. At the same time, we could just crack the other stuff into petroleum. I don't know which the best approach is. I will have to think about that. That's just how it is and I should also maybe think about um, taking some or some biting killing spree. This setup is not really working now since I'm not actively putting the dark green ones on the, on the inner band. Wonder if the robots can fix this. Well, that would put the um, nice ones on the inner as well. Yeah, buddy. 
do it like that. And remove that and place something like that maybe. Hello construction bots. Please save my skin. Hmm. I don't know. There we go. Now I only have one of these, so that's a problem, but, you know, it might work, it might not work. Actually, uh, actually, these guys are not doing anything. Mm. Yeah, it might be time to actually solve this once and for all, and just skip this setup and start using filter inserters on all these. But I don't wanna. Really don't want to. Yeah. Well, that's something for another day. Today we have done our circuit factory for green circuits at least. We will most likely continue with that in the next one. Maybe make some red circuits and maybe take a look at this. But anyways. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.